What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back in to another video. We are beginning our 2020 New York Giants positional preview series and I'm so excited to do this. This is about our fourth annual positional preview series. Uh, I'm excited to get into this. We're going to start off with the quarterbacks as we always do. But before we start guys, you're going to see this series uh, over the span of the next coming days. Every single day is going to be another position. So if you guys want to show your support a lot of you guys actually come from these series a lot of you guys actually subscribe from uh, see, uh, seeing these series so um you know obviously it's probably going to bring in another group of subscribers so if you guys are enjoying the content make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and let's get started now if you guys don't know how the positional preview series works Pretty much, we're going to be going over every single player, and and I'm talking about every single player that is on the New York Giants roster based off of a, a specific position, and we'll be going over all of these guys' type of attributes and uh, what we think, what I think about the player as a whole, and I will give you my projected depth chart and tell you guys whether I think uh, this guy is going to make the roster or get cut from the roster and give you guys, just narrow it down of who I think is going to make the the now 55 man roster I believe now for the first time in positional preview series that I have been doing on this channel um, this is the first series quarterback series that we're actually not gonna have Eli Manning in every single year it's pretty much me talking about Eli Manning and then everybody else and now this year it's Daniel Jones's throne and then we're talking about new faces in the quarterback room you know we still have some old faces there but we still have a lot of new faces as well two new additions to the quarterback room two new backup quarterbacks and it's not something the Giants have done in a while well, actually three new faces actually including Case Cook is so um you know let's dive into all of these quarterbacks and yeah let's start off with Daniel Jones obviously number one um the number one quarterback on the roster right now and he's coming off a pretty good rookie season and just based off of expectations as you guys I think everybody uh had their fair reaction to Daniel Jones when he was drafted in the 2019 draft but listen I think for the most part it worked out right 3,027 yards over the span of 12 games had 12, 24 touchdowns he was three touchdowns off from tying the rookie quarterback record and had 12 interceptions which is a uh, two to one touchdown to interception ratio which I think is great for a rookie uh, had a 61.8 completion percentage and but he had I think 18 fumbles and lost uh, a fraction of those but I mean uh, the fumbles are just something that he really needs to work out uh, work at it's probably the biggest con to Daniel Jones's game and I hope he is able to learn from that you know you guys know another former New York Giant Tiki Barber had the same problem from the running back position he was able to learn and it helped his career out tons so hopefully Daniel Jones can do the same Daniel Jones really fits this offense, this new offense that Jason Garrett has come in and implemented. Now, you know, it, it, it covers everything that Daniel Jones has a really big strength at, and that's getting out the pocket, the bootlegs, the rollouts, throwing on the run, and able to go through his reads and progressions, and also handing the ball off as well. A lot of you guys may not think that's a big factor, but it does. Not having too much stress on the quarterback, not to mention the fact that he also has Saquon Barkley as well to hand the ball off to, and he does developing offensive line so I think Daniel Jones is definitely going to have a better season than last year he just really needs to clean up the fumbles but I think as far as the scheme fit goes and as far as um, him progressing from last year I think it's going to be a complete 180 I think he's going to elevate his game he's going to be a probably a top 15 quarterback this year and maybe pushing top 10 I don't know but uh, that that is my honest opinion of Daniel Jones um, I just love 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 what Jason Garrett and pretty much what the whole coaching staff is doing to help Daniel Jones in his progression. We now move on to Colt McCoy, the backup quarterback formerly uh, of the Cleveland Browns. He was, he was drafted with a third round pick from the Cleveland Browns and also um, a Washington Redskins quarterback, uh, most notably a Washington Redskins quarterback in which he relieved uh, Kirk Cousins a couple of times. They actually came out with a win in some games. And Colt McCoy, if you ask me, even before he was a giant, um, 
I, I always said that Cole McCoy is probably one of the best true backup quarterbacks in the NFL. And what I mean by that is a guy that really will not be looked at as a starting quarterback. You know, you could talk about uh, Nick Foles or Mitch Trubisky. We don't know who's going to be the backup there. You could talk about maybe a Marcus Mariota now who's backing up uh, Derek Carr in Las Vegas. Those, he's not, re- those guys aren't really true backup quarterbacks. These are guys that pro- probably are starters, but are not put in that situation because of the team they're on right now. In my honest opinion, they have starting potential. Cole McCoy is right on that fringe where he is just not that good to start, but damn, he, he's pretty damn good in relief of your starting quarterback if he were to go down. Cole McCoy, in my opinion, is one of the best true backup quarterbacks in the NFL, and I think he's going to hold a huge value to the quarterback room as far as experience and knowledge goes of the game and learning fundamentals and learning how to be a quarterback in the NFL. He's had a number of years in the NFL and has that experience and can really, really teach Daniel Jones the ropes. Now, Alex Tanney had that role last year, but I think Colt McCoy is just an upgrade of that mentor role for Daniel Jones. I think Daniel Jones will be um, will be excited about that and will be appreciative of uh, Colt McCoy also in the quarterback room. So in my honest opinion, Colt McCoy, uh, honestly, is going to make this roster, and I think it's going to be a huge help to the Giants and Daniel Jones. All right, we then move on to Alex Tanny. Now, he was the mentor to Daniel Jones last year. He was the guy that was chosen over Kyle Loletta last year. We all were questioning why that was, and that was obviously because Alex Tanny was a mentor to Daniel Jones, and Daniel Jones even came out and said it, that Alex Tanny really showed me a lot. He says he really gets a lot of his knowledge and experience from Alex Tanny, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Uh, The problem is Colt McCoy just might challenge him for that, so we'll see what happens. Alex Tanny has done some things uh, for the Giants in training camp, and there were some days where he actually looked like the best quarterback in in training camp and and, and in practice, but that's obviously not the case, but Daniel Jones um, is either way, whether Alex Tanney stays on or Cole McCoy or maybe even both, Daniel Jones is going to be under a huge uh, amount. He's going to endure a huge amount of knowledge and experience, and I'm extremely excited for what the Giants did to help out Daniel Jones. We then move on to Cooper Rush. Now, this is a guy that won't provide too much of a mentorship role, but I think can really provide as a future good backup quarterback, and that's kind of weird to say because I don't envision uh, a team taking a chance on Cooper Rush to being a starting quarterback. He is a little older than usual with how many years he has experience in the NFL. I believe he was drafted as like a 26-year-old quarterback, something like that. I think he was drafted very uh, old into the NFL, similar to what you saw from Brendan Whedon of the Cleveland Browns a couple of years ago where he was drafted at like the age of 26. I think Cooper Rush was somewhere around that ballpark. And uh, this is a guy that really has a lot of potential. You ask a lot of Dallas Cowboys fans, they are actually really, uh, they were really intrigued by Cooper Rush. Now, they never thought that he would actually be a starting quarterback, but a guy that can really relieve Dak Prescott if he were to go down. You always have to keep your options open. And Cooper Rush was someone that the Dallas Cowboys fans really liked. And this is a guy that really didn't show up under the lights in game and really had a lot of uh, stupid mental mistakes and stuff that he could obviously clean up on. And I I like Cooper Rush. We'll see if he makes the roster. Let's see if he's good enough to make the roster because I think Alex Tanney's better than him and I think Colt McCoy is better than him. And I don't imagine the Giants keeping more than three quarterbacks on the roster, maybe even two, who knows. I could actually see Cooper Rush making this roster to be that third quarterback, being that the mentor role will either be uh, had by Colt McCoy or Alex Tanney. We then move on to the last quarterback on the roster, and that is Case Cookus, the Northern Arizona quarterback. He went undrafted. Case Cookus had 4,095 yards last year in North Northern Arizona. 31 touchdowns and 7 interceptions. You know, watching this guy's film, it's not spectacular. He doesn't really throw tight spirals. Kind of throws the ball a little too slowly. Doesn't have really a sense of urgency in my opinion. Very bad pocket awareness. Although he has pretty decent game speed and athleticism, um, you know, I don't really imagine him making the roster or possibly even being a practice squad guy. Um, he would have to really show out in training camp in, in, in practice to really provide some sort of production because you know, the other guys mentioned have NFL experience. These aren't guys that were undrafted free agents right out the gate. 
Cooper Rush has had three years in Dallas. Um, Alex Tanney has had years with the Giants and the Titans. And obviously, you guys know about Colt McCoy. So, um, it's not really, the odds aren't really for Case Cookies. He's pretty much the odd man out in this situation. So, um, you know, I don't imagine him making the roster. But, you know, I, I encourage you to watch his film. You can really learn a lot as far as a quarterback goes of what a good quarterback is and what a quarterback that needs development is. And Case Cook is definitely needs development. But who knows? Maybe he will help the quarterback room in a way. So yeah, I don't imagine him making the roster whatsoever. So that being said, let's go Let's go over my projected depth chart for the uh, quarterbacks. I'm going to have Daniel Jones, then uh, Colt McCoy, and then actually Cooper Rush. So I think the, the Giants are going to cut Alec, Alex Tanney because Colt McCoy really provides that extra knowledge and that extra experience um, for Daniel Jones. And I think Cooper Rush is a, possibly a decent quarterback to develop. Jason Garrett and Cooper Rush have that connection, man. They, they've they been there before together in Dallas and, you know, that ginger connection. You gotta love it. So, uh, that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That is the quarterback preview. See, uh, that is the quarterback preview for the New York Giants. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys in the next video.